I am all-knowing. I know everything. I'm so happy to be here with all of my like-minded peers knowing smart stuff. It is because I am an artist. I both reflect the world and alter it with the power of a paintbrush. With a single stroke, you could be removed from existence. Remember that. Welcome to Art Explained, the show where I explain art. My name is Michelle, and artists sure are different. I mean, their brains really don't function the same as non-artists. Does that make them better or be still my heart worse? Art Explained took a look at three scientific studies that researched how artists think and how their brains might differ from those who wouldn't describe themselves as creative. Let's take a look. Study number one. Are artists poor because of their brains? The most recent study we will discuss was published in the Creativity Research Journal. This study evaluated why creativity may be negatively correlated with monetary rewards. Basically, can we blame artists' brains for them being poor? Apparently, yes. This study, led by Dr. Roberto Goya Maldonado, took an inside look at how the parts of the artist's and non-artist brain that produce dopamine, a neurotransmitter often associated with mood and addiction, react when offered money for free. This study was pretty small, with only 24 participants, half of which stated that they worked in the arts. Each participant had to wear goggles which showed differently colored squares. Every time a green square appeared and was selected, the participant would receive money. While using functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, researchers found that artists did not experience as much activity in the brain's reward system as non-artists when selecting the green squares. In fact, researchers discovered that artists experienced more activity in their anterior prefrontal cortex when told to reject the green squares. So according to this study, artists are inherently less worked up about receiving money. Sorry artists, but science is never wrong. Just like the documentary film Loose Change proved that jet fuel can't melt steel beams and that YouTube is the home of meaningful, truthful content, this study proves that artists have an excuse to be poor and sad. <laughs> study number two. Are artists' brains structured differently? In the journal known as NeuroImage, creative and non-creative participants' brains were scanned. The researchers found that people who are adept at drawing tend to have more developed structures and regions of the brain that control procedural memory and fine motor performance. Lead author Dr. Rebecca Chamberlain studied a rather small group of people, 21 art students and 23 non-artists. In her scans, she found that artists had a significantly higher amount of gray matter in the areas of the brain called the pruneus and the parietal lobe. The study, which was published August 2014, further concluded that gray matter and drawing proficiency seem to be independent to the amount of visual arts training one has. I would prefer to not have my brain be scanned because it is so vastly developed and unlike any other. I fear that it would be harvested and studied for research purposes immediately. Study number three, does making art improve the brain? In a study published in July 2014 in the PLOS One journal, 28 participants between the ages of 62 and 70 were evaluated with their brain scans using fMRI. None of these participants were visual artists or art historians. For 10 weeks, these participants attended one of two weekly two-hour art classes. One class taught art appreciation with group discussions, while the other class taught painting and drawing techniques which the students had to utilize while creating their own artworks. The research, led by Anne Bulwark and Christian Mayhoffner, determined that those who created art should improve interaction between certain regions of the brain and also strengthened psychological resilience. The specific regions of the brain that showed improvement were between the frontal and posterior and temporal brain regions. Those associated with cognitive processes like memory and introspection. These improvements were not seen in those who took the art appreciation class. While in certain estate white art creation showed more physical benefits than art appreciation, the researchers offered a few explanations. Perhaps the improvements were because creating art requires the cognitive tasks of understanding 
and imitating other artists. Or maybe it's because making art is a more immersive experience. Due to how small the study was, the researchers acknowledged that further research is necessary. I know what you're thinking. In the words of a great philosopher, science is a liar sometimes. Also, maybe vaccines cause autism, the earth is flat, and are explained as good. Anything is possible if you open your mind up to the possibilities. Thanks so much for watching this video. I think we've learned a lot here today. In fact, I think even my brain has gotten bigger. Does your head hurt? Does it feel like your big brain is about to burst through your skull? Good. Sounds like progress.